like to say that if during the course of the evening I seem a bit nervous to you, I hope you'll forgive me. I mentioned that the last station I worked at was NBC 10. And if you've seen the ratings, you know that I'm not used to speaking in front of so many people at the same time. Uh, so we'll try to just get through it, and you're going to hear from two people who are good speakers and have wonderful stories to tell you. And uh, you'll hear that throughout the evening, and if you're not familiar with the Community Scholars Program, you will be by the end of the evening. So please say hello to Dana Weeks, who's the head of school, and the committee chair of this scale, Carol Baldwin Mooney. And by the way, Carol was a community scholar. She graduated in 74, her daughter Jessica graduated in 2010. I 
I think you all know it, the famous line, if a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. Let him step to the music he hears, however measured or far away. And I believe then, and I believe now, that it's the core essence of the GFS experience.
The Wolves have made to CSP, to Germantown Friends School, and to the community at large. Proceeds from this evening's event will begin to fund that endowment. Especially 
impact, especially the part, both visual and verbal, about the bombing of the 16th century Baptist church in Birmingham, Alabama in 1963, where those four young girls were killed. I actually went to Birmingham with the GFS choir, which was one a trip through the south. I went to the church, the choir performed in that church, and it was a magnificent testimony to where we stood. At that time, after that time, when the girls were killed, I was working with Eric Johnson on various developments at GFS. By the way, Gay, his wife, and Becky, his daughter, are in the audience here tonight. Another example, more 
recent example, a 2014 graduate of the Community Scholars Program, a current sophomore at Temple University, please welcome a remarkable young man, Ben Thomas. Thank you, Steve, Dana, and the rest of the Community Scholars 50th Anniversary Committee for inviting me, not just to share my story, but to represent all Community Scholars, both past and present. My name is Benjamin Thomas, a GFS graduate of the class of 2014. My four years at GFS were the best four years of my life. At GFS, I could usually be found in the gym, playing basketball with my teammates, in low, doing tech for a play, musical, or assembly, or running around the campus, trying to track someone down with a key to let me in to get something. The Community Scholars Program is as much ingrained in the culture of GFS as begging Miss Monica for free food from Hargroves at 235. We have one senior that stands up in the last meeting for worship and says, I've never spoken in meeting before. <laughs> when I was asked to speak at tonight's event, it could not have been at a better, worse time. I was sitting on a plane in Atlanta, having just been mistaken for a 12-year-old unaccompanied minor. <laughs> because anyone that knows me knows that I've looked exactly the same since the first day I set foot on 31 West Coulter Street in 2010. I was on my way to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas to DJ for local hip hop star and Philadelphia music, music ambassador, Chill Moody. This trip has been the pinnacle of my music career thus far, and it's only right that GFS would play some role in it. GFS has been the most formative part of my short existence and I'm hard-pressed to think of something that will overtake it. My middle school experience was unpredictable. I attended three different schools in three different states in the span of three years. I longed for a sense of belonging, stability, comfort, a place where I could, get, a place where I could fit in and not get made fun of for being myself. In eighth grade, my mother, my rock, the driving factor of my success, told me that I was going to visit some Quaker school named Germantown Friends School. She told me that GFS would be the perfect fit for me. Well, as always, she was right. Maybe I should listen to her more often. I knew even before my first day that GFS was the place for me. My class, the class of 2014, was a beautiful, fun, talented, and supportive group of ninth graders. But most importantly, they were weird. <laughs> Weirdness is engraved at GFS. It flows out of the hallways, and by hallways, I mean crosswalks and walkways. Even the cool kids were weird at GFS. <laughs> and it was this environment that made me feel comfortable. Overtaken by the endless amount of opportunity that GFS had to offer, I threw myself in head first. And by head first, I mean jumping off a cruise ship in the Atlantic with only floaties. I joined BASE, the Male Student of Color Club, which I was going to leave for two years. I found older brothers and role models I never had in students like Clay Fairbanks, class of 2012, and Uriah West, class of 2013. I joined Coffee House, a student-run talent show that gave every student the chance to showcase their talents, no matter how obscure. In the classroom, I learned about things I had never heard of, like ancient China in Marty Kerr's last comp pole class, or how light worked in physics with David Williamson. I made friends with bonds so strong that they will last a lifetime. To this day, my two closest friends, Julia Schreiber and Kara Pryor, both class of 2014, have been my best friends since the first day of ninth grade. I was finally at home, finally in a place where I felt like I belonged and could blossom. What makes GFS such a special place is not the fancy science building 
or the world-class academics. It's the care and the support of the adults. The teachers, administrators, and staff take children from such a young and vulnerable age and craft them into what it means to be a GFS graduate. Everything that has happened to me in life thus far can be directly traced to a person at GFS. I would not be at Temple University studying entrepreneurship if it was not for the support of Devil Micah. The countless days spent crying in our office, feeling like I was not gonna get to go to college. And the support and guidance to make the right decision that not just made the most sense academically, but financially for me and my mother. The confidence, trust, and discipline that Lisa Burns instilled in me by giving me the reins of the tech department at such a young age and never losing faith in me, even when I slipped up. Lisa and Howard gave me the skills to always work harder than my competition, yet be open to learning from my mistakes. If it was not for music teachers like Jeff Torshan, Danielle Garrett, and Dwayne Large pushing me not to just only listen and study classical music, but validating that my musical ability was comparable to my classmates, I might have never followed my dreams. I still remember when Duane let me make a non-traditional, non-classical piece for the Advanced Theory Assembly. This moment was the first time that I truly believed that music was what I wanted to do. Whether it was learning how to write an effective essay or figuring out how to solve an integral, the guidance from every single teacher that I had prepared me to walk into a college classroom ready to face the challenge. The mentorship that I received from Brandon Jones on and off the court has opened me up to more opportunity than anything else in my life. Brandon filled the void of a father that I never had and gave me the chance to play the sport that I loved, even though I'm not the most very gifted. I could go on and on all night talking about the way that GFS has impacted my life. However, we are not here to celebrate me. We are here to celebrate the legacy and impact that the Community Scholars Program has had on GFS and the Germantown community. I can confidently speak on behalf of every single community scholar that I am not alone in the way that I feel. Every person has his or her own story, their experiences from GFS and how the program shaped them. We all know that for most young people that look like me, the world is not an open door. We are not encouraged to succeed, to strive for greatness, and to follow our dreams. GFS and the Community Scholars Program changed this. They have taken the school model. Behold, I have set before thee an open door and kicked the door down. I want to thank everyone who came out here and supported the program so that stories like mine from students like me never leave the fabric of GFS. Thank you.